In the last episode about this two-stage rocket, I talked about how the staging logic works and how the flights went. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I built the rocket. I started out by getting a par the parts. A body tube with fin slots cut out, three quite large fins, a motor tube, two centering rings for that motor tube, shock cord, and some other little things. The first step I did was dry fitting the motor mount. Dry fitting is to make sure everything fits together before gluing, because gluing stuff together and finding out it doesn't fit together after that is not going to work out so well. After that, it was time to assemble the whole thing. Assembling the whole rocket is pretty straightforward, so here's a little montage of it. Next, it's time to paint the rocket. Um, uh, okay, we'll try that again. Um, <laughs> okay. After that, I assembled the electronic slid. The electronic slid contained a run cam split 3 and a custom flight computer to light the second stage, all inside of a body tube. Next, we're going to take a look at how I built the second stage. First I started out with four fins and two fin jigs to align the fins. The fin jigs hold the four fins in like this and makes it really easy to glue since we don't have through the wall fins. After that they're glued on like this with a little bit of JB weld. After that I gave the fin section a little painting. The part that attaches the two stages is made with a 3D printed part and a little bit of body tube and tape. Next we're going to take a look at the first flight. Again, towards the end of the video you'll notice that the camera shuts off. This was actually because the connector between the power and the flight computer, which the camera was powered by, sh uh, got unconnected, and it shut off. This was not related to the failure, though. Now we're going to take a look at the successful flight. Well, it was only partially successful. The second stage lit, but due to a motor failure, quite interestingly, the first stage came in ballistic and killed the flight computer and camera. Rest in peace, fallen soldiers. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.